Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today, I want you to think about everything that's going on in the world right now. You're quarantined, you're sitting at home, and maybe some of you are feeling a little distressed and some of you are grabbing this and seeing this as an opportunity. And I was just watching the news this morning and one of the NASCAR drivers came on and he said, you know, we're shut down, we can't do anything. He goes, but what we need to do is always look at things where you're at and then look for an opportunity within your situation and i've always lived that way i've always tried to see any situation i'm in my brain just goes what can i do about it what can i do and it was kind of neat to see someone on tv this morning saying the same thing now his opportunity that he took was to raise money he used his name to raise money to help people in his own community, which I think is awesome, um, which I would love to see all people that have big names do that because they've got the brand just like that and people will trust them and trust them to take their money and use it for good. So what can you do? You're like, I'm a nobody, how can I take an opportunity? Well, maybe you've lost your job, you know, and maybe you're sitting there just waiting for that check to be deposited into your account. And that's great, but it's not gonna be enough. You still have to, we don't know how long it's gonna last, we don't know what the future brings, so we got to look at now. What opportunities, what, what resources do I have now that I can use? And one of them is your voice. Maybe not, but um, you know, some of you like to type, some of you are good with video. Find that thing. This video here is going to be for people that feel like they can use their voice and turn it into a job. Whether it's a side hustle just to get you through these times or something that you know grows into something bigger it can do that what i'm going to show you today is what types of jobs you can find using your voice um what kind of money you can get paid and then i'll give you a couple sites to help you get started okay so first of all what can we do you can use your voice to record audio books for people now you've got you've seen them they're all over amazon somebody had to record the books and usually it's a person that can read well and has a good voice, maybe in you know good expression and things like that. I'm going to give you an example that I found. This one, um, let me find him right now. Um, his name is okay. It's right here, Peter Dixon. Uh, Peter Dixon. Um, I found this on a site called Gravy for the Brain, but I wanted to give you an example of how he just really put a lot into it. Now, when I first started looking at voiceover, I'm looking for books and audio, and a lot of times it's just somebody that has good expression and reads well. Well, he even put some music behind it. I mean, he went the extra mile. So listen to this just for a minute. So you can go to this site, it's called Gravy for the Brain, and this is Peter Dixon, and listen to some of the voiceovers that he has done as an example. Another thing that you can do is you can do voiceovers for radio. If you want to contact um, maybe different people that have podcasts or uh, call the radio station and find out, are there people out there looking for um, people to make commercials, uh, people that can uh, maybe just advertise things for you. Um, they might want a voiceover on a website. There's all kinds of different, like even short jobs. They might want someone's voice for 30 seconds or 15 seconds and things like that. So look into that as far as radio as well. And you can also just start your own YouTube channel. I found one here. I went to YouTube. I Googled it and here's somebody doing a YouTube channel. Um, Rabbit ears is about this little bunny who doesn't like to get his ears wet. Let's find out what happens, shall we? Let's begin. Rabbit ears. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he did not like. He did like rabbit ears. Person has over a hundred thousand subscribers, I believe, or 171,000 views. Anyway, um, just for this one book, 
And this is somebody that just started it. It's called Read Aloud Children's Story. You could start your own YouTube channel. And eventually, after you get monetized, you can start making money on YouTube. So if that's something you enjoy doing, and it doesn't have to be children's stories. It could be chapter books or um, different books like that, or even for adults. Um, just people like to be read to. So those are different ways you can earn the money. Now, let me tell you how much you can, how much money that you can earn. If you do a radio spot, a lot of times they pay like $35. If you do like a 15 second small voiceover on a website, you can get as much as $150 just for a 15 second voiceover. Um, 30 second radio commercials pay anywhere from $250 to $350. Now remember, you're not going to probably get it right the first time. They're looking for a certain thing in your voice and all of that. So you've got to practice and then just get it right. It's like you're being an actor with your voice. Now, if you do an audiobook, this just blew me away. You can make $2,000 to $5,000. They pay an average of about $250 an hour. So the low end is about $150 an hour, which, hey, that's good money, all the way up to over a thousand. If you've been around for a while and you've got a name and, and, and a voice that everybody's after, you can make up to $1,000 an hour. So even if you just put in your head, you know what? I can make 150 bucks an hour you, uh, doing an audio book. That's not bad money. Now, remember, that's um, the version of the book that is already edited. Like you can't take four hours to do an hour reading and expect to get paid for four hours. You're only going to get paid for the finished product. So really it's up to you how much you have to practice, how much time you have to put into it with editing. So how do I find all this work? One of the places that you can go, I just Googled it there and it said jobs right there. They're all over a place called upwork.com. You can go in there and there's bunches of jobs. And if you go down here, there's a hundred more. So I just Googled it. And so do that as starters. You can also go to a place called fiber.com. I went in here and I looked for different jobs. Now, a lot of people here are advertising themselves. Okay. And usually when you start on Fiverr, people are going to start out and say, um, $35 to start out. A lot of times though, I have hired people on here and you'll say, oh, they're only charging $35. But when you start talking to them and telling them what your job is and what you want, then they'll say, okay, that job's going to cost $150. So that sometimes is just to pull people in. And sometimes people charge less in the beginning so they can get some credibility and some testimonials and things like that. But you work your way up. But this is where you you can go and advertise yourself as a voiceover. Now, remember, if you do that, you want to have some examples um, for your voice. Here's, and I thought this was kind of cool, like at the top, it says uh, male voice, male voice, female voice, cartoon voice. If you like to do, you know, people that like to um, mimic cartoon voices, there you go. You can make money doing that. And a celebrity voice, deep voice, and things like that. So, Maybe you can specialize and niche it down and specialize in a certain area. Um, another place you can go to do audiobooks is a, a company called ACX. I'll have the link below as well as the Fiverr link. Um, you can go there and they'll go take you through. There's some videos and things and you can advertise yourself on here. And then when other people are looking for a voiceover artist, you're here. Now remember, in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit competitive because there's people out there doing it. Here's another one. It's called Bunny Studios Voice, I found. Um, again, it's just like ACX. You can go in and promote yourself, uh, sign up as a voiceover expert. And there's some examples down here. So you can see what other people are doing. So again, um, I'll put some other links of other places that I found. I don't want to um, just keep going over them, but I'll, I'll have four or five down below that you can check up to do, to find a job doing voiceover with audiobooks. I think it would be fun if you'd love to read. And it's a great way right now where you're stuck in the house. Now, a lot of people say, well, do I need equipment? The only thing I would recommend, honestly, you can use the audio on your laptop, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to echo. So you might want to buy a microphone and I'm going to show you real quick. This is a Yeti. You can see it here. And I think I paid maybe... Oh gosh, I can't remember. You're going to pay anywhere from like $79 to $150. Um, they have packages. You can get just the Yeti microphone or you can get headsets and you can get the little um, 
the thing that goes over it to stop the echoing in the room. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not a, a, a techie expert on the equipment, but I would recommend getting that because it does make your voice sound better and it doesn't echo. So if you're really looking at this seriously, then you definitely want to have a good microphone and that's it. That's all you need. You don't have to go get a soundproof room and all those kinds of things. You just have to be in a quiet area. All right. So that's all I have for today. I hope that got you inspired. Even if you're not going to do it, the audio, I hope I'm inspiring you to find something to do and not just sit around and think the world's coming to an end. What are we going to do? This is life folks. You know, things happen and we just got to get up and figure it out and take, find opportunities. And I, I love that, that Joey said that he's a young kid, NASCAR driver, and it was just neat to see him having that attitude that we've got to take it as an opportunity to do something. Um, whether you're doing something to help other people or doing something to help your own family because you lost your income, do it, do something productive, do something that's going to mean something and stop waiting for somebody else to hand you a check because that money's going to run out. It's not going to be there forever. So, we're going to get up and make our money ourselves, right? All right. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.